Hey friends, I'm ready to get colorful today for our many colored days. I've got some jars, but you could use cups, plastic cups, glasses at home. Uh, just if you're using glass, make sure it's okay with your parents. And there's a tiny bit of water in the bottom. And I'm gonna add a little bit of dish soap. And then food coloring. And it takes a good bit of food coloring, maybe 10 drops, two squirts, something like that. Stir that up. And you'll see it's starting to get bubbly already. Get that dish soap mixed in. And a pro tip, use a long straw. Don't try to cut these in half. You want your face away from the cup or jar. And blow bubbles. Once it starts coming up, you're ready. We're gonna do bubble prints. So I made a sign that says joy, and I've already done red and blue, and all I'm gonna do is put my paper on those bubbles, kind of collect them on the paper. Once I've used all the bubbles, I just put my straw back in and print some more. Let's see, I have some right there. And let's get some in this corner. Here we go. And how about over here by the J? I'm just gonna press those bubbles into my paper. And they're kind of foamy, you can see they're kind of foamy, and I'll just let them sit. You don't have to wipe them off or anything, and they'll pop eventually. And you get these really cool bubble patterns on your paper. Experiment with mixing colors, mix your primaries and make secondaries. This is just a $2 box of food coloring. And I did make a card. I cut a piece of paper in half, folded it, and made a little card. Wrote it to Grandma from Johnny. If you're making a card, separate out the writing part and then print your bubbles on that side. There you go. So we'll let those dry. Another technique you can do is scooping so you can take your bubbles and scoop them out and put them on your paper like this let's do red scoop those out pull my red ones out and the color is a little more intense with scooping and maybe some blue. So have fun with bubbles. I have another video uh, from outdoors. Some friends were at Merrill Hyde today, so stay tuned for that outdoor bubble making. My second project for today involves your food coloring, quite a bit of it, and bubble wands or bubble bottles. The more fluids you have in the bottle, the more food coloring you'll need. Don't forget the food coloring stains clothes and skin, so you'll want to be in a paint shirt or old clothes when you do this project. All right, I have sanitizer, I'm gonna rub these um, bubble wands down, sanitize them because I found some friends outside. Let's go find them. Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Trantum and that is a Merrill Hyde art shirt because I'm here at school socially distancing from the Miles family. Hello, Mrs. Miles. Hi. And they have on art shirts and sanitized bubble wands. And they're gonna show you our color project today. We've taped up a big piece of white paper on the fence. And go ahead, girls. This is Addison, who's gonna be in kindergarten here next year. And Emery, who's gonna be going up to second grade. And Gentry, we go up to fourth grade. And their cousin, tell me your name again. Kinsley. Kinsley, thank you so much. All right, girls, go ahead, open them up. And you're gonna throw those bubbles over onto the, they're using the wind or their breath to get the bubbles to go onto the page. 
Okay. Gentry's got a technique going here, making it wider, to try to get bigger bubbles. And what happens is, if they can make it on, yep, definitely blow and let them pop. <laughs> and we're popping my face. I'll zoom in a little. worked really hard against the wind today and we wound up flinging some of the bubble mixture onto our canvas. Our canvas is just a giant piece of paper and then some of the bubbles when the wind stopped blowing so hard really stuck and popped. That's one of my favorite ones right there. Uh, this had a little less red dye in it. Here's another cool one. So you can see the bubbles really do leave a neat pattern after they land and pop. Here's another cool one. Here's a cool one. So have a great time on maybe not quite such a windy day blowing bubbles onto paper outside.